I work at Southeast Health and we've been delivering radiation therapy at Southeast Health since 1967. Two years ago we moved into a brand new comprehensive cancer center with all new treatment equipment. Anything we can do to make the physicist more efficient can be effective in lowering costs. And one way I've found to do that is to have the tools of today, not the tools of yesterday, that allow you to be more efficient. I found that for every type of test that I needed to do, Sun Nuclear was among the best, if not the best, in that category. So recently I, I timed how long it took me to do a scanning session with a 3D scanner. At 4.30 when the, they were finished treating patients, I rolled the scanner into the LINAC vault. And at 5.20, after 50 minutes, everything was lined up and leveled and I was scanning. And at 5.30 I had completed a set of scans for one field size, depth dose, and five cross-line scans, and five inline scans. Um, and I stopped there, and then after another 45 minutes, I had it uh, dried and emptied and taken apart and put away, and I was on my way home. There's one data cable. It's the same cable that I have in my Linac vault for map check and arc check. One power cable that plugs into the wall. Once the tank is filled up, then you're ready to run auto setup and start scanning. It's because of auto setup that we're able to roll the scanner into the room and in less than an hour be scanning. Now the key to the auto setup are the leveling motors and positioning motors that are in the base that the tank sits on. If you look over here next to the detector holder, there's a water sensor that detects the water surface at various positions around the circumference of the tank and from that information, it determines the leveling information for the tank, and so the, the base levels the scanning mechanism. Then, with the beam on, it scans a rectangular field in multiple directions. It finds the radiation isocenter, and then the motors in the base moves the whole tank to align to the radiation isocenter within a fraction of a millimeter, and then it's ready for scanning. The ability to do this very precise alignment using the remote control of the, the base is a huge time saver in getting set up for scanning stereotactic beams. I'll measure a beam profile with 0.1 millimeter spacing and find the offset and from the computer control shift the base by that amount and then it's aligned within 0.2 millimeters. Now I do that also at depth to make sure that I'm aligned over the whole range of depths that I'm going to measure but if you have a beam that's not vertical, you can use the built-in ray trace function, and that finds the trajectory of the center of the beam and, and follows the track of that beam throughout your scanning. Let me tell you the advantages of this innovative cylindrical design. It minimizes the volume and weight of water that you have to deal with because you don't have corners of the phantom that you have to fill with water. But yet, it still has the capability of scanning a diagonal of a 40 by 40 field size. And then when you want to switch from a cross plane to an in plane scan, it happens automatically from the computer control while the beam is on and the chamber still say, stays centered. And because the ring rotates, the orientation of the detector relative to the scan direction stays fixed. One of the detectors I use for stereotactic measurements is this edge detector that's made and sold by Sun Nuclear. It's a diode detector that's energy compensated that will provide measurements for field sizes up to a 10 by 10, uh, including depth dose, uh, that match the measurements from ion chamber.